trucking junkies. We're here at Steel and Pipe in Catoosa, port of Tulsa. No, cross straight. We gotta go cross straight. So, if you come here to Steel and Pipe, you gotta park on this side of the street, then you gotta walk over to the other side of the street. It's always fun. Thank you, sir. Alright, and then you're going to come here and you're going to go check in using confirmation number. And next, you're going to write down that, you're going to put down that 1 9 number I gave you. Alright, continue. That is correct. Truck number. Down there at the bottom on the left hand corner. There you go. There you go. Yep. Phone number in and continue. Yep. All right. And now you're going to go hit return to main menu. All right. And now you're going to have to take your paperwork and you're going to stick it in there. There you go. Now we're going back out to the truck. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. So we're going to come out of here. And we're going to go park way over there. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> and then we're going to take our tarps off. Uh, we can take off everything but two chains. We need two chains for movement. Right. And then we'll, uh, then we'll wait for them to come and get us. And then they'll tell us what door to go into. Okay. Or if they're going to unload us in the yard over there, they'll tell us where to go in the yard. Alrighty. So, you're going to come out of this driveway, mm -hmm. and then you see the driveway right across the street, kind of catty corner yes. to it. Okay, you're yeah. going to go in there and you're going to get into the gravel lot, and you're going to immediately turn left. Okay, gravel lot turn And left. then you'll go around all the steel and you're pointed back in this direction like that TMC driver up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Cool. tracks around.
yourself enough room on that right side so you can fold your tires. I'm sorry, on your left side. Left side. Your left side. over here. That'll work. Well, as you can see, we are in the bay. And you guys missed the whole conversation that I had with you. Because my stinking camera wasn't on. Because I'm an idiot. That is the truth. <laughs> so anyway, what I was talking about was we had a heck of a weekend. So, <laughs> so our neighbors, we're still having problems with our neighbors and our cat. Where's he going? What's he doing? Ah, oh, he's taking a minute. Anyway, so, so we have a neighbor now who is trapping our cats. Now our cats are, are fully vaccinated. They are chipped. They're registered. And the, and the pound knows our cats. They have pictures of our cats. So, so we keep getting phone calls from the pound about coming and getting our cats. Well, it costs us 30 bucks every time we go get our cats, right? So we had this uh, so we had this idea of putting up putting up a I guess he's going to this one. That's it. Yeah. Uh, going and putting up an invisible fence, right? And uh so we went and spent some money. But. Hold on, man. There we go. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, so we went. So we went and spent about four hundred dollars on an invisible fence. And we put it around our backyard. One, one kit almost fit, but we needed another, we needed another uh, spool of wire to get it all the way around, right? By about 40 feet. Crap. And, uh, <clears throat> and our pool almost backs up to our fence, our, our wooden fence. <clears throat> oh man, I gotta get up here. <clears throat> Not bad for an old guy, huh? <sighs> That's not the way I wanted it. It's not. We're gonna do it this way. Uh, so we had to we had to put the wire and stuff along our pool line, and before we even got the thing hooked up, one of the cats lost its collar. Now these collars aren't cheap; they're like ninety bucks. We can't find the collar. <laughs> It's somewhere in the house. There you go. Oh, I'm oh, doing all right. So, so, so we've already got, we're already down one cat collar, right? And 
Once we got everything hooked up, we were gonna test it on Ferris, which is my black and white cat. So we went outside with him, we put him down, and he, stro he strolled over to the fence. And, it, and I had it set, there's, there's five different settings. The first was just a tone to kind of train them. And I don't know if you've ever tried to train a cat, but it didn't work too well. And uh, so he gets over to the to the to the invisible fence, and it. I had it set on like I don't know maybe the second weakest static charge, and it, he immediately goes down to the ground when it starts it starts to zap him a little bit, and he starts scratching at it, and then he freaks out. <laughs> This cat runs down the lot, the back of our pool, right up next to the fence. So the whole time he's running down the pool, it, it's giving him a static charge on his neck. And it, and it, he directs himself out into our yard and the dogs are chasing him. And he didn't know what was going on. So he took a running start, went across our backyard and hit the, and, and jumped over it. And by this time he's like, screw it and jumps over the over the, the invisible fence, hits our wooden fence, and takes off. He's gone he's gone for a couple of hours. <laughs> so so we decide that's not gonna work. So then I had to take the whole dang fence back up, put it all back in the box and the wife's gotta take it back because it ain't working. And like I said, we're still missing a collar, so and we had to buy that separate. So we can't take we can't take it back until we find it. <laughs> uh, so now we are going to we're going to build a a, a catio. I don't know if any, it look it up. They're funny. <clears throat> it's like a cage for your cat. And we're gonna block. We're gonna open one of our windows in a spare bedroom, and we're gonna block part of that window and put a put a a cat door in, in it and then we're going to attach the catio to the to the house with a tunnel so they can go through the cat door into the tunnel and then go out to their catio and play out in the yard it's you know, we're going to start out with a go ahead we're gonna hold on a minute So we're gonna make it out of PVC and and some and some uh, like garden. Sorry. And some some garden wire mesh. And it's gonna be we're gonna start out with a with a a ten foot long, uh, five foot wide and five foot tall uh, catio. And we'll have. Uh, Eventually, I'll put little things for them to hide in and climb in, and we'll we'll expand it with little, you know, just little little areas that they can go into and and kind of be away from each other and that kind of stuff. And then they'll be able to come back and forth in the house as they want, and that'll open up our dog door for our dogs to be able to use again. But we have one whole part of our yard that we really don't use. Um, the dogs go over bit over there, but we really don't go over there. Uh, so that's where we're gonna put the catio and give them some room to room to roam And I'll anchor it down to the ground and stuff that way they can have they can have grass to lay on and That kind of you know that kind of area And then all we got to do is well we can shut the we can shut the cat door when they're in the house And go out there and pull up the pull up the stakes that are gonna hold it down And then we can move it around and do and do the mowing and all that stuff. It won't weigh very much so but we're gonna take care of that issue. I need that right there. I gotta cut some crown molding. Yep. Yeah. 